Okay, so oh, uh, Angry Bird should be finished installing. Um, let's see how the performance is. Uh, let me kick on some music again, just because uh, between turning on NPR on Pocket Cast and stuff, we kind of shut off our music, and of course, you're going to be wanting to listen to your music while you're driving down the road or whatever, so. Okay, so that's in the background. Turned it down so you can hear me. Um, now that Angry Birds is installed, let's see if this works. Ah, of course, it's going to kick off our music because Angry Birds has our own music. That's okay. So it's loading. Let's see how this how this performs. So this is uh, a one gigahertz device. Uh, I'm not sure the processor, but it should be pretty smooth. Um, it's definitely very more than capable. As you can see, it's it's flying through this no problem. Of course. Uh, this is no game playing device, it's a car stereo, but uh, no reason you shouldn't be able to do this sort of stuff. And this speaks to the overall performance of the device, to how this performs. So the screen performs great as I'm pulling back the, the slingshot. So, no uh, delay on the graphics, uh, all that good stuff. So, finish that level. Slingshot works great. Responds great. So you can see, it works overall. So there's Angry Birds. There's some apps. Um, of course, there's more apps that you can you can try out, but that's a good indication of um, how everything's gonna work. Um, if you wanna use Plex, that works. Um, overall, I mean, it's a great device. It does everything that um, any sane person would wanna do in their car. Um, there's more you can do with it, uh, being that it's an Android, but of course, in my daily use, um, just being able to easily get to my radio functions, get to my navigation, and use my navigation app that I prefer, not the junk that comes with most cars, which um, even the My Ford Touch, uh, which is probably one of the better ones out there, is crap compared to to this just for the fact that you can use um, Google Maps um, Waze, so on and so forth just being able to quickly turn on my radio that's very finger friendly um, which is very important when you're driving um, there's no hassle there you can quickly get to that or your oxen or what have you um, you got buttons for your navigation here so you can kick on whichever app you prefer there I mean just works great for that and when you want to dive into the more advanced functions you need to diagnose your car with torque um, and have that respond quickly so you can fix your fault codes um, be able to quickly um, kick on Pandora um, be able to make a phone call um, stream music over Bluetooth um, you can just quickly pair your phone um, at the beginning whenever you get a phone call and it'll kick in or any of the other settings that you set for it. Um, so overall, um, compared to a lot of other um, Android devices for in the car, including even Caffey's previous models, um, there's no comparison. This is uh, by far probably the best car stereo on the market, um, performs the best, um, and is just the most usable. Um, and just in general, it's great sounding stereo too. So. so, and that's the most important part. Performance and how well it works every day and sound. Um, now you can see these apps work great. Um, give it a try. Caffey.com, I believe, is their website. CA-FI.com. Um, I'm in no way affiliate, affiliated with them. Um, just another Android enthusiast. This is shot with the Nexus 5. Um, and will actually be uploaded to YouTube using a Chromebook. So, it's cool seeing this sort of stuff. Take a look. Hope you enjoyed.